Ursna Stilson here. In this short video I'd like to just show how to add multiple hardware fittings um, to assemble two boards. This is in an answer to a question of somebody on the forum who was asking me how you actually do this. It is actually very very simple. Um, let's start a new cabinet and just take a simple cabinet and if we look at it in 3D and we look in the x-ray view we can see there's no fittings at all on this edge here between the side and the top. To put the fittings we just click on for instance the side and take its properties and take its linking to the top and then we just click on the fittings links button and we open up the fittings links window. Here we have the list. Uh, to add to the list we just click on the add button and we can choose a fitting that comes from the library. Let's say for the first thing that we want is DAO and we, then we are underneath the fittings link we have the rule and let's say we want DAOs at 20 millimeters from each edge and then 200 meter intervals. So we click, at the, click on the rule 20, 20, 200 and we should now have DAOs added to it. And if we look in 3D, the x-ray view, we can see we've got the DAOs. Okay, the DAOs are fine. Now let's say that we want to reinforce the dowels and we want to put cams on it. So we just we still have the side selected. Let's go into the linking to the top still, add the fitting links, same button, and we have the list of the fitting links. Let's add another link, and this time the fitting we're going to add a dowel um, um, cam. And this rule, let's say we're going to give it a rule where we just want two cams at 50 millimeters from each edge. Click OK. And now we have added the cams. So we can see very clearly we've got the dowels and the cams along the same line here, which is pretty neat. That's no problem at all, is that? Of course, this can be, you can add this to a library, um, a, a methods or a sub methods library, and this will become a standard feature on uh, your assembly details. If we look at the um, how it's been treated in the manufacturing documents, let's have a look at the print. We can see that uh, we've got, the, of course, the cutting lists. And if we have a look at the top here, we can now see on the top we have listed the drilling uh, for the cams. We have the two holes here, B, which diameter 20 millimeter diameter, 15 millimeters deep holes. And if you look on the sides, we can see that the sides we have got the dowels on the edge, sorry, on the side, the very the, the extreme edge of the, of, the, um, of the top, we have the holes drilled for the dowels. Looking on to the next part, let's have a look at the top. That was the top. Let's look at the, uh, the left side. We have on the left side, we have the C holes, which are the dowel holes, diameter eight, and the D holes, which are the holes which were where the screwed in part of the cam goes, the D hole here, with a diameter of fifteen of five, it's a pilot hole in fact, and a depth of fifteen. So we have on the left side all the holes drilled in for the uh, cams and the dowels. Okay, right, thank you very much uh, to uh, thank you very much for looking at this little video and I hope it's been interesting to you. Thank you very much. Bye.